the smart check program. Hey Richard, how you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today's gonna be a very short and simple sweet video and for the next two days, I will not upload because tomorrow is my brother's primera comunión. I'm gonna be busy all day going to mass and setting up for the party for my little brother and things like that so I will not have time to film anything. And then Sunday, I'm gonna be spending time with my cousin who came down from SoCal. So I wanna spend some time with him. It's Monday morning, sharp Monday morning. We're gonna get back in the game. We're gonna be switching off the ball joints for the G35. It should be riding like a brand new car so we'll get back to it on Monday but besides that today I basically received my honeycomb carbon fiber hood it looks absolutely beautiful you guys will see that in the video and I also have the footage for you guys for my first state ref appointment so without further ado hopefully you guys enjoy this video give a thumbs up and I'll pretty much see you guys in about two days and today's shout out goes to Avery Heaton hopefully I said your last name right but he said can't wait for the exhaust reinstall first of all thank you very much for the support my friend and second of all me too oh my god dude every time i turn off my car is the official saddest thing in america bro it's so sad bro. every time i drive bro i'm i legit legit not even kidding bro i get sad so uh hopefully one week before july which is around july 23rd or somewhere we will be reinstalling the full exhaust the supercharger and everything the car is gonna be sounding better than ever as long as the engine lasts but without further ado let's go ahead and begin this video don't forget to give this video thumbs up and once again I'll see you guys in two days Alright guys, so basically the, the right for the vented honeycomb hood should be arriving. They called me earlier. I don't know why they called me again saying it's going to be here within an hour. A lady called me even earlier saying they're going to be here in about 40 minutes. So it's been about 30 minutes now. So anywhere within the 10 to 15 minutes, the guy with the freaking fright should be coming with the hood. We're going to go ahead and get out, inspect it before we sign it. Hopefully they don't rush us or anything. I'm going to take my time. I need to make sure this hood is good, not damaged, and, and that because because once you sign that off, you're pretty much whatever the hood, you're pretty much getting it as it is. So if it's cracked or anything, it is what it is. Oh, yep. So basically, we're just going to sit down on this chair and wait patiently for the for the ABS fright. And then we'll edit the video that you literally watched yesterday. So let's go ahead and edit. All right, guys. So the ABS truck just came. Let's go ahead and get out and see if we can record anything. Man, my thing just loaded too, man. <laughs> I guess he parked too close to the curb. He's gonna go ahead and move it really quick. Man, hopefully it doesn't come damaged. Hopefully, bro. Let's cross our fingers, man. Can you hit the thumbs up in this video, bro? Cross your fingers, bro. Give me some good luck. It's already slanted already. And then do you mind giving me some time to just go ahead and double check it, just make sure so that sure. it's not like damaged or anything? Because yeah. I know these companies, they have a thing where like, you sign in and then... Oh yeah, no, I get you. I get you. All right. If you want, let's do it right here in the sun. Just because it's okay. carbon. And so I want to see if, it, if the material is it, it's probably this way, huh? Yeah, here, ladies and gentlemen, check that out. I don't know if you can see it. Oh man, this looks beautiful. Holy cow. Well done, Fly One. Well done. Luckily, uh, once again, shout out to the Fright Company. They were super patient with me. Super, super patient. It came perfect. No damages. Hopefully, I don't want to jinx myself too early. But overall, it looks really, really good. Man, dude. This is beautiful. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Finally, we get to complete the masterpiece, bro. Honeycomb hood, honeycomb side splitters, honeycomb mirror caps, honeycomb steering wheel, and now we got our honeycomb hood. One more piece to the collection. 
All we need is honeycomb fenders and maybe the honeycomb front splitter and we will collect all gems of honeycomb. So it's gonna be some while till we get there, man. Not gonna lie, fenders are expensive and that front splitter is just as expensive. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get this head in a safe location and we shall continue the vlog. Hey guys, so right now it's currently 12.25. It's currently 12.25 and our appointment is at 12 30 so uh, this is the first virtual appointment for the state ref pretty much i think they're just gonna ask for registration things like that and they sent me an email prior to the appointment let's go ahead and read it. it says right there and also a data check is being performed from the data tree during your vehicle's last smog inspection and if your vehicle data is flagged by the bar as having modified programming it will have to be corrected now i'm pretty sure that just has to do with like programming like ecu like tuning your car if you tune your car you have to go get it fixed it's a smart check program hey richard how you doing all right um i sent you an email earlier today yeah i saw yeah i saw it, it? uh-huh all right so what we need is um pictures front and back of your citation uh-huh and a picture of your vehicle's registration card but well, if you have a smartphone uh-huh you can um, take the pictures with it. You get your email on your smartphone. And then I, I went ahead and sent it uh, yesterday, I believe. You couldn't have sent it yesterday if, if I sent you the email today. Oh, it's because, uh, well, I don't know if it's the same email for all referees. No, we have different um, sites. We have different emails, so which one did you send it to? I sent it here because one of my friends is also going through this. So he, he shared with me that email. So I, I sent it. But let me go ahead and tell you. it's Yeah, because he, he can be calling you from a different region, actually. <laughs> He's, I sent it to vref1 at foundationccc.org. Did you? Yeah. What time did you send it? I sent it yesterday at 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? Uh-huh. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Oh, I don't see uh, Ruben Mendoza. Yep, there that's the go. one. Uh huh. There we go. Seven oh nine a.m. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I got it. So hold on, let me see front and back. There we go. Clear you for the appointment. I'm gonna send you an email back. Okay. So look at it, and uh, can have the phone number again for the call center. All right. You'll be able to. Um, well, after you get the email, you'll be able to call the call center and schedule an appointment to bring the vehicle in. Okay, sounds good. You're in the Sacramento area, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. All right, so keep an eye out for that email, okay? All right, sounds good. Thank you. Bye right, bye. Bye. All right, so I guess that was it. Pretty short and simple. I thought it was gonna be longer. And shout out to my friend Cena. He's the one. He's going through the state ref. Same situation at this moment, as the same time as I am. And he had his appointment like three days ago, so he went ahead and sent me the. The emails. We just want to get this thing cleared, and then we'll go to court. We already have the paperwork, so then we'll go to court and uh, and get that fixed. But uh, we need to clear it through this Bureau of Automotive Repair thing first. Okay, we need that clearance first before I can slap everything back onto the car: the exhaust, the supercharger, everything. All right, y'all. So we just got done with the state ref call, and then we got the cousin from SoCal. Yes, sir. Sheesh. So this man, what's special about him is that he works at AutoZone, bro. So he's the plug, bro. And as you guys don't know, you guys look at our calipers, they're a little chip. You guys see there? They're a little chip. And we gotta get ready for the show July 17th. Make sure you guys sign up. I'll see you guys there. But they're chips. So we're gonna go ahead and repaint them. We still don't know what color, but we're gonna have to make our mind in about 10 minutes because we are heading to AutoZone to pick up some paint and uh, take advantage of the bro. The bro's pl plugging discount, us today, baby. bro. Discount the AutoZone. Oh, so let's go ahead. Discount, baby. Hop in the Jeep and uh. Head to AutoZone. I don't know, dude. Should we go red chrome, guys? Red chrome? Blue chrome. Dude, blue chrome would be... I don't know, dude. And then this is the color we're going with. We're going to be using the Chevy orange as like the first spray on and things like that. And then for the third final spray, we're going to be using this Chevy enamel red orange. This one right here. So it'll be like a red orange. Hopefully it looks good. We'll, we'll find out, but regardless. So it, was, uh, it was like 50 something. Yeah, it was like 50 something. And then it came out to literally 39 something. So we're about to get red orange calipers, bro. All right, bro, we're about to set up some bottle rockets. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> what was that, bro? That was a dud. Do the next one, do the next one. Bro, are you serious? Oh. This is what happens when the SoCal cousin comes, bro. He brings all that illegal shit. Man, you already want to run away, bro. Take your time. Oh, oh. God, he didn't get it. Oh, that one went good. See, that was like... <laughs> Sheesh. Man, bro, 
look at this road, brothers. We're in the yay area. How do you even live here, bro? Imagine parking your G35 right here, bro, and you're slammed, bro. Oh, this boy got a G-Wagon in there. Oh, that boy's motherfucking rich. How do y'all even drive a manual car, bro, in a steep-ass hill like this? Oh, hell no. Nah. I would burn my clutch so fast. We're putting gas at Chevron so we could cruise more around San Francisco. She's putting at 485, bruh. How do you feel? You better chump you, change. You better. Who does this guy think he is, bro? Oh my god, bro, relax. He watched Fast 9 once and he thinks he's all crazy shit. So apparently, guys, we're going to this place called Twin Peaks. Like, once you go up there, bro, it's like crazy. Like, it starts raining and storming. Is and, it here? And it's just. No, no, no. Just keep going. Just keep going. She came in clutch with a handicap, but oh, what is that purple light? I'm well, telling you guys, we're part. dying today. What the hell is this? Oh, hell no. This is scary as. This is some alien shit, bro. Oh, hell no. They're calling the UFOs, bro. They're trying to convince me to get off to see that Golden Gate Bridge, but man, I'm good. Look how windy it is outside, bro. Oh, hell. Some musty ass bus over there, dude. What's going on in there? Back home. What the hell is that boy so late? All right, guys, we're back from doing that shenanigans in San Francisco. Thank you guys so much for supporting the video. I know this was kind of a very short video and a kind of a different one because we didn't really install or do anything. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that honeycomb carbon fiber hood that I just received today. Let me know your thoughts on it. Can't wait to freaking install it. But like I said, we need to put the hood pins first. And then you guys saw that state ref stuff. Very short state ref appointment. Uh, but now he gave us approval to call the number to make an appointment for the in-person car inspection so we're ready to go and i'm gonna give them a call in about two days because that's what it said in the email and yeah that's about it so in about two days we will resume making videos and giving that state ref a call so without further ado catch you guys in two days thank you guys so much for the support i appreciate you guys man be safe love you guys be distinct you guys already know peace